In a world, four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a thing for the podcast. Did you say the name? <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. I'm into dudes with tits. <laughs> There's a finite amount of times you can play that before I fire you. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to fire you. I feel like this is the how many licks does it take to get to the center of the spot? <laughs> Which button is it? Uh, the one that's its own color because oh, I want to nice. make sure I know which one it is. Yeah. What, what are the other sounds? Uh, <laughs> that shit. All the stock shit. Yeah. Uh. Uh, by the way, we're uh, fucking live, boys. Oh! Yay. Fuck, boys! Well, I mean... Sort of. Well, if we're no. sort of live, don't. And you're getting this on sort of Thursday. And there's a drink on the table. And sticks in our hands. I have a stick in my hand, Johnny boy. I that can only mean one fucking thing. I think we're sort of going to masturbate. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's time for Freedom Friends Master Debate. Well, he says sort of because we're going to do double Dutch rudder. Nice. Yeah. That counts. That's friends helping friends. That's all that is. Yeah, I'm yeah. into that. That's yeah. that's just helping out a buddy. Yeah. Right. Eyes on the road. It's on your own work, Super Chief. <laughs> uh, that's right. It's a Freedom Friends Master Debate where us, the Freedom Friends, solve the world's problems that we usually make up on our own uh, for you out there who like this mediocre at best podcast. Uh, brought to you by WarfighterTobacco.com. Use that code FTFO. Screw yourself that fucking sweet, 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 sweet discount of 15%. And of course, our friends over at wellness.us for all your CBD needs. Use that code Freedom Friends 25. Get yourself a quarter off your order over there. Justin. What is our fucking topic tonight? All right, boys. All, All right, right boys. boys. That still still gives me tingles. It, it feels good. Yeah. It, it feels it right. It feels right. It feels right. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> I didn't do it. You kind of did it. Yeah. Okay. I totally appreciate you scalping employees off of another company so that we can have that back. I'm then, just, I was disturbed at uh, Jazz's reaction to his brother. That's a lot. Yeah. It's kind of, it was a little incestuous. Kind We're of, a very close family. Kind of, They're half kind brothers, of to be fair. You get used to it. <laughs> Top half or bottom half? The good half. There in there's the rub. <laughs> He's the bottom half. <laughs> the power <laughs> bottom half. <laughs> So, uh, so this week's debate. Was... I don't think he's got enough ass for you, Jazz. I, I disagree. God you got way it. more cake than him. I'm trying to change the fucking <laughs> subject, you weirdos. <laughs> Out of the two of us, if we had to have a, a an arrangement of a who's going to be the bottom, who do you think is actually winning that fight? It's whoever wins that fight. <laughs> yeah, that comes down to a fist fight, my friend. <laughs> Just, yeah. just remember, I will always be older and meaner. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You don't fuck with old man strength. It's true. Anyways, what's that topic yeah, you got okay, there, buddy? You. <laughs> Jesus. If you had to fuck a sibling, which one? <laughs> so, uh, so this week's debate was submitted by the fucking good dude himself, good old Dave. And, uh-huh. uh, and the topic is, what that would you Dave do? Dave is a fucking good dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And John. What yeah. do we love? We love fucking good dudes. I know That's you right. do. I know you do. I sleep upstairs. I know. <laughs> we know who's the bottom in that relationship. <laughs> so uh, he wants to know, what would you do on your last day on Earth? Oh. Uh, mm. <laughs> there needs to be some qualifiers yeah. here. What would put I some qualifiers do there. on the last day on Earth? Is it everybody's last day or is it just mine? Just yours. Just yours. Just my last day. Just my last day. Just your last day. So what would I do on the last day on Earth? It depends. God damn it. Yeah, man. Am I 95 and like decrepit? No, like tomorrow is your last day. Yeah. You have 24 hours from right now. And I just found out. Like you wake up tomorrow morning and they go, you've got 24 hours and then we're pulling. That's that's it. You're done. I don't know. I got a family. It's a hard Yeah, I got a family, man. Ryan Reynolds. Well... Yeah. You're doing Ryan Reynolds that's, on your last day. That's yeah. fair. Or yeah. letting Ryan Reynolds do you. Either way, I don't. Regardless, it's art. <laughs> or or Owen McGregor because I just feel like that's masturbating. That, it's kind of a narcissistic thing, but I get it. <laughs> it's my last day. What are you gonna do? Judge me? It's true. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. I'm fucking dead. What do I? The fucking do I care? It's true. You think Hitler gives a shit? Probably not. Yeah, so, <laughs> you're like, the new Hitler. What, what do you think? You're hurting Hitler? Like <laughs> Hitler doesn't give a fuck. He's fucking dead. 
Like, I've never once or known a an, dead person that's come back and be like, oh, you know, I really don't appreciate that you did that. Or he's in Argentina. Don't even, he'd still be dead. <laughs> yeah, like, probably. Yeah. What do you mean, probably? Dude was in his 30s, in the 30s. So unless that fucker lived to like 120, he's still fucking dead. True. We can bring math into shit, Jazz. God. Because it's the universal language. Fucking trying to weld over there? What? Yeah, what the fuck, man? Unless you're uh, talking decimal points to uh, percentages, apparently. <laughs> it's not universal. Don't, why you gotta bring that shit up? John and I already squashed that shit. Why you gotta fucking... That was just funny. Why you gotta bring that shit up? Well, so I think I think this, this table's gonna be divided because we have family. Yeah. And I, I would love to spend my last day with my kids and my wife. Does yeah. that be different yeah. from every other Saturday? How? Well, it's not the, It's not my last one. All right. So I'll That's give you why. the stipulation. So you you just know? now you know it's your last one. So it's yeah. Like, you oh, know, okay. like when you when you know you're not going to see them again or that, more importantly, they're not going to see you again. Yeah. You have to get some final teaching moments out. Yeah. You got to sp- spend that quality time. Maybe. So you could die with your Honestly, kids having two black eyes. I would probably make I would, <laughs> I would probably spend the entire day making videos talking to my kids. I wouldn't do that. I would just talk to my kids. Well, my kids are a little bit younger than yours. That's true. So, like, I would probably spend the entire day making videos, talking to my kids. And then they wondered why you died the next day, and you spent all day in front of the TV. Yeah. Be pissed at you yeah, they might. They might. <laughs> but one day they'd get it. Yeah. You know? And I'd be perfectly happy with that. Oh, well, y'all are boring as fuck. John. Yeah, that's what, what I'm you, saying. Like, this isn't going to be fun. What would you do with your last also fucking want a day? fun answer from you two? Yeah. Like, two chicks also get a- at the same time. Two <laughs> chicks at the same time. Because I want to leave this world disappointed twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could manage to figure out that divorce thing in 24 hours or not. Or if she could, I'll put it that way. I don't know if she could figure out the divorcing. In 24 I would just hours. tell her, look, you get everything tomorrow anyways. Right. <laughs> like, tomorrow yeah. it's all yours. So why don't we try a bunch of shit that neither one of us talked about, but we know we've both thought about. Because right? <laughs> as of tomorrow, it's all you anyways. So... Yeah. I like how John is just like two chicks at the same time. If I if I had 24 hours to live. Yeah. And... I'm taking out some scumbags. I, yeah, I, there's no, a couple people that are on I, my list. I think yeah. the first thing that I would do is go get a business sized bag of cocaine. There you go. Uh, <laughs> no, because see, I'm going to need energy for these you're, next. You're going to be hours. awake this whole yeah, 24 that's it. hours. So yeah. I think I'm John's on the path that sure I would probably walk my here. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking ready. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to need a business sized bag of coke. <laughs> Can you explain to me what a business sized bag is? I feel well, like so that's a week's ball, worth. No, an eight ball handles a weekend. I'm going to need like two or three of those. Yeah. So, but that's a but weekend that's if like, you're on like a, a scheduled s- bump. So a business size bag is anything sandwich bag size or larger. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So have you ever, so I think I'm with you so far. Have you ever seen the movie Crank? Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of the same concept, exactly. right? So your average cocaine user is probably on like a 10, two and five bump ratio. It's just enough to keep you going. When he says business size bag, he means literally... At, at that 45 minute mark, when you feel the powder actually starting to wear off. How much China white has gone up Jazz's fucking nose that he knows is this well versed? We need to talk about that. <laughs> so you get about 45 minutes out of a solid bump. Okay. So either, either spoon or nail bump doesn't really matter. You get about 45 minutes. <laughs> It's about a 45 minute bump. Teaspoon or tablespoon? No, oh, they make these little spoons. No, there's actual <laughs> spoon. I know. I know. It's a little cocaine spoon. So I am learning so much about my brother right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's things about me you don't want to know, buddy. I just, I, I, uh, the only reason I know about that is from, what was that, Cruel Intentions movie? She had the little cocaine spoon in the cross. In the rosary? Yeah, they're never that complicated. That is for movies only. Okay. Most of the time, it's, matter of fact, most of the time that you want to use, you can go to your average humidor and spend 99 cents on a pipe tamper. Yeah. The back end has a little spoon that you're supposed to use to scrape your pipe. That's or, the perfect size to be actually able to bump with. I got a fucking nod from fucking... Or Jesus, just, fuck, dude. Or you just yeah. use your key. Or you can just use your key. Or... or I don't have enough time to grow it. Yeah, my nail, nail doesn't isn't going to grow <laughs> fast enough. I only got 24 hours. It's not going to happen. You can use your key or whatever. But it's typically a 10, 2, and 5 bump if you're using it for, and you, you essentially stop drinking coffee and energy drinks and everything else, and you can just use that and it carries you through. But when you're, say, business size, you're talking about the ability to where as soon as that 45-minute come down starts yep. to happen, it's, game on again. it's bump again. And so it's just, it's bump to bump to bump to bump, and you're just literally 
You're just okay. riding the dragon at yeah. that point. Okay. Which is the actual definition of chasing the dragon. That's actually how it's done. Uh, okay. I thought that was heroin, but. No, heroin's just chasing that first high. Yeah. Because you'll never get as high as you got the first time. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's literally depreciating value. Truly tracing the dragon if like if you're gonna actually like trace the tail. So I can try heroin one time and it'll be the best. That'll like, be the best time. And you've then ever I can had. stop. And then it's always gonna in get theory. worse. It's gonna and get then worse. I can after stop, right? In theory. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. In theory. Anyways, so to explain John's <laughs> business size, that's business but, size. <laughs> you suck one dick. For the rest of your life, you're gonna be known as gay guy. We just, or at least a cocksucker. So I'm, I'm in danger of being called a heroin addict. Or a drug addict. Or you might just get hooked the rest of your life. But what well, if, for 24 hours, what I'm if not that trekking. one guy has tits? Justin? Oh. I'm into dudes with tits. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it that time? <laughs> it's not that time, but you're getting closer. <laughs> Oh, fuck. It's so good, though. It's so good. Let John it's, tell his fucking uh, story. I like, right? God let damn like, it. Let me tell you what I'm going like to do. I like the pause, though. I'm going to do this with tits. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's just in the dudes, it'd be weird. Yeah, right? <laughs> but there's a pause there. <laughs> there is. Um, And then I would proceed to uh, travel to multiple different places and see a whole bunch of different people. Um, we well, got a timetable. Yeah. So where are you prioritizing? Where, when? Where? Where? Yeah. Well, because, I mean, because you, can't, you, got one you can't include fucking 12 hours of travel. No, I know that. So well, you can't, how are you executing? Like, I'm not going to spend six hours on a flight going fucking to Boston, for yeah. instance, or something. Like, I'm not going to spend yep. six hours of that day. Yeah. You know? I know that. So what are you going to do? Don't. I just said it. Get all fucked up and go run around and do a bunch of cool shit and see a bunch of people. Yeah. That's it. By sea. What do you mean? Well, it depends on the person. <laughs> <laughs> so I like I have some stuff I I want to accomplish, right? Midgets. Like, Same. Yeah. Well, midgets are definitely coming into play. But like it's <laughs> it's things like I've never shot anything at a thousand meters. And if I knew I had 24 hours God, left. God, you only have 24 hours, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> that bad of a shot. Jesus. <laughs> but it, it would be like, I would make a list of things I wanted to accomplish. And I would just literally like hammer them through. Cause, like a legit bucket list. Well, because what am I worried about? My credit card debt? Yeah, right. It, like, fuck it. It's like, well, where are you going to shoot a thousand meters? I'm going to pay the fucking range that's going to require me to do it. Like, swipe. Let's fucking do this. Like, yeah. whatever. I'm going to bring someone to help me do that. Like. I'm going to determine the fastest I've ever gone in any vehicle. Find a car that can take me faster or bike for that matter. That My can take me Amex faster than that. My poor is going to be wore out. Yeah. And yeah. Like, it's going to be shit <laughs> like that. And then, yeah, there's going to be a couple of conversations I'm going to have with a few people. I know I'm exiting. So the whole, like, there's a couple I'm taking with me. I don't give a fuck. I'm dead. I don't. That's why I'm I, taking them. Cause I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm greater. They, I'm a greater good guy, man. They are coming with the greater good of what? You what know the fuck is the greater are, good done for me? Fuckers. That's all I'm saying. Just society. It, society fucking blows as sure. a whole. Yeah. You know how John wants to do that whole bag of coke, give him that high. I'm kind of with you on that one, but executions of people I want to execute. I think I'll have a also a high there. Yeah. You should do it high though. But like I said, <laughs> <laughs> I've never shot anything at a thousand meters. Yeah, I didn't say it had to be like a steel target. Right, right. I've yeah. just never that's, shot so anything th at a thousand meters. That's kind of where I was going with this. It's, it's like, a very it's expensive like, range. Yeah. Yeah. Not really. What are they going to do? Charge me? Most Maybe dangerous like... game. <laughs> yeah. So I could finally take out fucking Greta. Yeah, there you go. That's how I'd start the day. <laughs> a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee and some coffee. murder. It'd be, yeah, <laughs> it'd be like latte, bump. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, a thousand meters is far, isn't it? And then, just fucking, and then I'd fucking borrow somebody's bike that they're never going to see again. Yeah. See how fast I could take it. And then, oh, it blew up. Oh, fuck. Don't care. With like a really good Philly cheesesteak for lunch. Jazz is getting four hours of his 24 before he dies. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, who cares? <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like, it's like, dude, talk about blaze of glory. True. Like he pegged that needle and just fucking let it sit there. And then he had 24 hours and made eight. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like, it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who cares? I'll take my wife along for the ride. Somebody to tell the story. But it's my 24 hours. Sure. Like, what are you going to do? Spend 24 hours telling people, hey, here's some stuff that you can be depressed about for the rest of your life. Right. Blech. It's like, or you could go out a fucking legend. And they can be like, yeah, my dad died one day. But here's all the shit he did. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to do some legendary shit, but there's going to be yeah. some. Like one of the best stories I ever heard stuff. was actually from my stepdad and his uncle had a brain aneurysm. And he knew he was on his way out and literally exited the house, walked across the street, knocked on the door. The door opened. It op- She opened. She was standing there, shot her three times in the chest and went, never did like that bitch and dropped down dead. Wow. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Do you know her? Like, just the shitty neighbor? Yeah. Just a fucking horrible. Just wanted to pop his like neighbor. Like, an original Karen. <laughs> yeah. And he just fucking blah, blah, blah. Never did like that bitch. Aneurysm fully popped. That was it. Wow. Huh. Like, if you're going to go out, fucking go out. Don't fucking depress people for the next fucking 40 years. Well, like, I'm not like that's just it. Not, and like, none of this would be depressing. Like, when I say I would spend the time, like, as a teachable moment and making videos for my kids. I'm not saying it's depression a list of shit. all the things not to do. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Hey, that skirt <laughs> just, you, that just skirt have you somebody... met your senior year. She's not a wife. Like, <laughs> yeah, shit like, like, that. Fucking, yeah, like shit like that. Yeah. Or it's just, like, Hey man, I know she seems awesome, but she's not. Let me tell you about my first one. <laughs> just have somebody <laughs> video your last 24 hours. Yeah, and that's the whole all thing. of those will come out. Yeah. You'll talk about it. You know what I mean? Instead of just sitting there talking into a just camera. Doing, just doing shit legendary yeah. when, while teaching my kids. Exactly. Yeah, see, that's, see, 100%. Now we're, that's, that's So doable. swipe the credit card to hire some videographer that just goes with you. So they get yeah. paid too. Sure. They just film the whole thing. You can be super honest and just pull a bunch of legend shit. Yeah. I'd steal some shit. Uh, 100%. Hey man, is this shit insured? All right, get the fuck out. <laughs> stealing shit, stealing <laughs> shit would be a thing. Yeah. Stealing yeah. shit would be a thing. Or you rent some fucking supercar because you're like to drive to the airport. <laughs> to, to steal, come after me to but steal like, the Learjet. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> join shit that I'm never gonna pay for. There's something that <laughs> there's something that I wanted like to like that Disney Club 33. <laughs> <laughs> so military aircraft don't have keys. True. True. Military vehicles don't have keys. Yeah, but military vehicles. Nobody wants to take a fucking military no, vehicle. No, I just mean like military vehicles as a whole don't have keys. But I know the starting sequence of an F-16. Taking off isn't the hard part. Landing is a controlled crash. Sure. But they have an ejection, ejection seat. So you take off, fly around, do whatever the fuck you want, punch the fuck out. I would watch a YouTube video on... The proper body position to punch out of an F-16. Yeah, because every pilot I've told Before me, you, you, do you have a fucking good chance of dying. Yeah. <laughs> but now, uh, now you, you can, well, apparently you it can, snaps your neck. So yeah. you have 24 hours to live. Right, if right. this is the last thing that you choose to do, punching out's not a bad way to do matter. it. doesn't fucking matter. True. How, how do you go out? Well, he stole an F-16 and punched the fuck out. Like, legend. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which. <laughs> speaking of which. I was in this today. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I got a picture yeah. of that. It's uh it's only the front half. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the one in, from the in movie. a stroke of originality, they put Maverick on the side. That's the one they used in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Still thought it was fucking cool. I walked outside my office and was like, hey. Yeah, I got, I got a picture of it today. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. For Pretty all of you that can't see Mikey's cell phone, somebody showed up with the front half. The fuselage of, of, a, of an F-18. It's not even the whole fuselage. It was just the front half of an F-18. No wings, like no like, back half. It's no like nothing. on a trailer. It's a, it's a tube with a canopy on it. Uh, yeah. So, But the guy was telling me backstory on that. On that, It was uh, originally a Marine aircraft. And then it was a Navy aircraft. and was a Blue Angel for a while. Then caught a hard landing. And that's when it was decommissioned. I was like, that's pretty cool. So it's a prop. It is now. Sure. Well, it didn't used to be. Top Gun came out in what, 88? This is the new one. This is from Maverick. Oh, so it's still a movie prop. It is now, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I own movie props. Sure. You got fucking Darth Vader's fucking I do. Thing. I have Darth Vader's cow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like shit. From the movie. Nice. So. Yeah. In cool. all fairness, 
What My mentor you do with- at film school literally built the props for the original Star Wars movies. So that, that, that's why I have it. There's a question, boys. You Walk, got- walking through specs. And just opening and sampling everything. Oh my god! Thing. I love oh. that. Just walking That's, down the aisle, and you're like, just popping <laughs> shit. All the shit that you'd never buy. You walk in there. You walk in there with one of your fucking Yetis with ice, and you're just like, people are like, sir, sir, sir. Can I like, help you? I'm like, hold on, I'm not done yet. Can I help you? No. No, nope, you can't. That's a great idea, right? Yeah. You go right to the glass cabinet, break it open, just start shit. opening shit. Yeah. yeah. Drinking all the shit you'd never buy. Right. What you do is you just thousand dollar bottle yeah. of Louis. What you do is you just hand him yeah. your credit What's card and be like, just tally yeah. it at the end. Yeah. Credit card fucking declines. Like, oh, Sorry. Take me to court. Yeah. Better call. Yeah. Here's my info. Yeah. yeah. Call the cops. Like, uh, I, I, won't be home. I won't be home till tomorrow. I will say before I do any of this though, <laughs> like, I I would go ahead and I'd call my lawyer first thing in the morning and def- and file divorce paperwork. Oh, that's explained. Yeah. There's a caveat to that. So she's not responsible for because any debt you rack up. if she signs it, any debt I rack up on my death day, she's not responsible for. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool of you. Okay. Well, you're over there like thinking about it. Like, what are you going to do? Stick your wife with your $50,000 day shenanigans? Right. Well, well, but then if you. Is that or, your last fuck you? Is it just well, like. If you're divorced, I thought it was. It could also be to not give her any of your shit. No, oh, she could fucking keep it. Yeah, right. Just right. put it in the paperwork. Yeah. She yeah. can keep everything I've got. Uncontested. But everything goes to her. Any of my yeah. debt, my debt I am responsible like, for. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, a good, that's a good guy move. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's your greater good argument because it's done so much good for the greater. What? The greater good. What the fuck has the greater good ever done for you? Nothing. Doesn't mean you have to be part of the problem, though. So it's a fucking like non-existent concept. Uh, there's good people out there, man. That's a person. That's and not the okay. greater good. It's, that's it, a good dude. Yeah, but there, there's that's there's, not greater. There's that's more singular. good people out there than we think. Like, I honestly believe. Going that. back to previous debates, nuke in DC would be for the greater good. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> correct. They just move it. But they're they have to find stuck. new people. It's just not a DC. They'd have to find new people. I'm sure you'd get rid of the old old guard. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's but, the old guard. But now you just get new people that are going to spend 40 years fucking your life up. Well, yeah. Well, you, but you, but you at least there's a chance. To- but you'd get a year <laughs> of, woo. Yeah, right? <laughs> How great would that fucking year be, though? Tell me you wouldn't enjoy that year. Do you know what your tax rate would look like the year after that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All of us here, I guarantee you, spend somewhere between a 25 and 30% effective tax rate. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in this room I would is move. probably paying roughly that. I wouldn't live in this country. Go ahead. Nuke DC so that you can suffer that 60% tax rate. Yeah. It's so probably. they can recoup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is kind of rough. Yeah. That's like they love to send out that fucking budget. Well, if you make $15 an hour working 40 hours a week, you make $31,200 a year. With a six hundred dollar a month tax bill, you, which means you make seven twenty still. <laughs> it's a six hundred dollar a month tax bill. So go ahead and tell me what would your life look like if I just injected an extra six hundred dollars to you if you made thirty thousand dollars a year and you had an extra six hundred dollars a month. Right. What does that do to your life? Not much. A fuck ton. If you're making thirty grand a year, another six hundred a month that changes your living conditions. That's a brand new car. It's the ability to maintain insurance. It lets you pay all of your bills, lets you actually save up for a house, lets you do all that kind of shit. Instead, you're paying somebody else's salary for a tax structure that is fuck all for you. Yeah. The greater good doesn't actually function because the greater doesn't give a fuck about the good. Then you can't say there's good people out there. There is. That's a people. person. That's sure. not the greater. That's the lesser. The lesser good is fucking awesome. <laughs> okay. The greater good <laughs> blows boxes of donkey dicks. I wouldn't really call them the good then. Those must be big boxes. That'd be more like the greater bad. That's exactly what it is. But everyone's like, it's the greater good. No, it's the lesser good. That good dude that you fucking know. That's, that's got lesser. your back all the time. I needed improved humidor. The good fucking dudes at Warfighter provided me with a better fucking humidor. Sure. And it's saved a fuck ton of my cigars. Yeah. That was two fucking dudes that made a call and improved my life. 
That wasn't the greater fucking do- good. It was the lesser good. They're fu- I can see both of them right fucking now. This was the whole fucking solution. Yeah. The greater good blows fucking dicks. Like, it's a 30% effective tax rate on unemployment. Explain that shit to me. I'm not unemployed. Can't. But the people that are pulling unemployment that legitimately can't find a job right now that are pulling unemployment have a 30% of effective tax rate. So they get a 1099 at the end of the year. Yeah, that's fucked. Wow. So it's a 30% effective tax rate on your unemployment check. How the fuck is that helpful? Right. Wow. Well, who, who came up with that? All the people that we keep voting into fucking office because it's been bipartisan on both sides. So if you schwack some of them. Then you just get a whole new batch. Because <laughs> right. anybody that's willing they're better. To- Hopefully we do a better job of No, because them unless in the lesser good is actually going to go take those offices, they're not going to. Because the greater good looks at it as a career and not service. The greater good fucking blows dicks. So fuck spending my last 24 hours helping the greater good. Are you going to help the lesser good by taking out the greater good? Yeah. Greta Van Susteren. That, that, I'll take her for you. That helps. That's a start. That's a start. <laughs> That's what I'll do with when I decide to see how fast a motorcycle can go. Yeah. But at Greta Van Susteren. <laughs> there you go. You just got to have a parachute. What does she look like if I hit her with a fucking you like know, a ZX at 100 miles You're just going to have a parachute on. You're going to want to see it. it. Once you get it fucking lined up and you get close, you just fuck, fucking pull. <laughs> and then fucking, that way you, that way you at least get to watch like, it happen. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. float back down. Yeah. See that? See that's that's a solution. Yeah, yeah. That it, and then I would finally be YouTube famous, but I'd be dead, and it wouldn't fucking matter. True. Justin, how about you? Yeah, buddy, what would you do in your last twenty four hours? Fuck. Um, I'd take my girlfriend to dinner and see her family. It'd be great. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Houston. <laughs> No, I'm definitely not spending my last twenty four hours maybe, in Houston. Maybe, Fuck. Maybe uh, the beach. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I'd probably go down the same route of like just picking out some people I just want to fucking schwack. Um, shit, yeah. I'm fucking too busy listening to y'all shit to figure out what I want to do. And Jess, to your point, I think the greater good, the term the greater good, is more of a figure of speech than an actual group of people. You are correct. It is a it is a <laughs> it is a societally owned colloquialism that is yeah. a lie. Yeah. It is an accepted lie. Yeah, but it's oh, so it's like religion. Yeah. Well, who's got that kind of money? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's a, it's a group think lie. The greater good, motherfucker. You don't give a fuck about anybody. Me? I Not do. You? I just mean the, the general population. <laughs> the general population cares attacked. all of about five people. Like if it really came down to brass tax, Scott, you're a very pragmatic person. At the end of the day, how many people do you truly give a fuck about? Probably thirty-five. And that's like top that's end. High. That's wild. Right? That's wildly well, specific. I got, I got seven or eight in my family, like immediate family. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just because you've multiplied like rabbits, but well, like. Well, you've been so around fucking eons. Outside, Shit. outside of those that you have either made or married. <laughs> like how many people do you actually give a fuck about? Handful. Yeah, probably 15, 20. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's such a small fucking number. Yeah. And everyone's like, it's the greater good. Fuck you. You don't even know a greater and nothing you do is good anyways. Like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You're in it for you. And the people that are directly impacted by you. Wow, Jazz, it must suck to be that fucking selfish. No. And it, negative. It <laughs> doesn't. And that negative, man. Fuck. Do you know what happens when you actually start releasing all of that? You become very peaceful. When you realize that the rest of the world you actually don't give a fuck about. Well, let us know when that happens to you so we can watch. Yeah. What the tiny little list I give a shit about? No, it's about no, fifteen the people. Peaceful part. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you don't seem. Yeah, very you're, peaceful, not very, you're not real peaceful, pal. <laughs> do, you, do you need to talk to somebody? <laughs> like, are you okay? Oh, I'm actually. I've slept better in the last fucking week than I probably have in the last five years. I think it's COVID. No, actually, it was because I told enough people to go fuck off. Nice. It does make you sleep. That better. does make you sleep good sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's literally true. Literally the amount of people that I was able to just go like mm, I just want you know I just what? want you to can ver- go fucking pound sand. I just I want to verbalize anymore. that on my last day. I want to verbalize that at about twelve hundred feet per second so I can see them fucking off in the background. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but they don't even know they fucked off at that point. Oh yeah, they will. <laughs> 
You know what though? You, you, I don't give a call, fuck if they know. <laughs> he's gonna call him. Like, hey, what the fuck do you want? Hey, you're on speakerphone. Either yeah. that, or I'm gonna post up on Northwest Military facing 1604, and anybody driving a pickup is fair game. Easy, buddy. Ooh, Here he shit. goes. I'm you know start what? Start smashing. The minis. funny thing is, is I was. Over the weekend, I was driving with my wife, and we were on 1604, and we saw some fuck in a Ram 1500 with the fucking extended wheels and shit like that that literally cut off, like, seven people to race everybody to the fucking stoplight and, like, almost caused, like, four wrecks. And my wife literally looked at me and she was like, that's what you were talking about. I was like, that's exactly what the fuck I was talking about. These fuckers that buy these trucks and all of a sudden are like, I'm fucking fast and think you own the fucking road. You don't. You're not fast. You don't own the fucking road. You're just a douche. Well, my truck's pretty fast. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, technically, me and Dave watched someone do that in a Nissan Versa today. Yeah. yeah. And he's a douche. Yes. He's a fucking douche. I don't think it matters what car they drive. There's just a plethora of douche. But in San Antonio, 90% of the time, it's some fucking a truck. You know what? I have more issues with Lexus drivers than anybody else but that's universal i'm talking about san antonio this is here too it's a fucking a truck almost every fucking time it's, it's usually a fucking a mom. truck and dodges are more guilty than anybody else fucking dodge drivers uh, maybe that's well, what i do with my last a, 24 last hours is just to figure out super how to duties do. yeah you're not very consistent that's all I'm saying. dodges make 2500s too and 3500s and big fucking trucks but for some reason, people buy Dodge 1500s and think that they drive a big truck. And it's like, nah, it's average truck. And then it's, yeah, it's the rest the of mirrors. the heavy duty guys. Their mirrors bug me. Yeah, the if you're driving they... with your mirrors fully extended, not yeah. towing anything, yeah, you can fuck I know it. your dick is about this big. They're towing an imaginary trailer. You just don't know where it's at. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, the Carolina squat is just a really heavy imaginary trailer. <laughs> right. That's all it is. <laughs> I drive it with my mirrors fully extended all the time. Why? 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 <laughs> you're just in the way. The eight pounds of pressure it takes to push your mirrors back in, just too much fucking effort. Probably sit down when you pee, don't you? <laughs> How many times you pulled your horn today, bud? You fucking tool bag. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that wears his boxers with the pee hole in the back. Yeah. All right, hundred well. percent. Same kind of guy that borrows his wife's gray, bo- gray I sweatpants. If I had to, if I had, okay, if, if this was my last day, <laughs> if this was my last day, and I had to listen to this shit. I would shoot myself. <laughs> and that's, that's where I'm saying. aiding the greater good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's called layers, kids, like we started this thing with. Uh, make sure you check out the sponsors. You heard them at the top of the episode. Uh, tell your mom. Tell your friends. Tell your mom's friends. Yeah. There's a uh, mediocre show with mediocre guys that are just, uh, I don't know, just being mediocre, answering questions, I guess, solving Nothing. Not even if we solved nothing. We did no, nothing. We there was shit. nothing accomplished on this. I feel like we just wasted 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right? uh, yeah. Three little things, guess. Well, raise your glass first. You fuck. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I guess. <laughs> do me a favor. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Now that's see, fucking that was the lesser way. good. And do you see how much more helpful that was? <laughs> it's, it's a figure of speech, Jazz. Fucking Cheers. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, three little things you know them, you love them. Jazz hit them with the first one. Uh, fucking smoke on, mm, Scotty boy. Uh, drink on. God damn it, kids. Freedom, Freedom to fuck, fuck on. on. See you next time. Bump on. Yeah. <laughs> Freedom to bump on. Yeah, right. We're on the in, business. We're in Rome. A, a business size. A business size bag. <laughs> <laughs>